All right. Welcome to Smokey's Grind Files. And that's where we got to put this one. If it should be in a American Reacts, we can change the thumbnail later. But I believe since this is attached or in close proximity to the chip beef that he had with Bugsy and then everybody was sending for this nigga. So this is Loki has a, a disc for this man. So that's why we're putting this here because I'm trying to wrap all those up. And yeah, so that's how we got to this one. And yeah, it's low key. We had to check this out. It's like low key, this, this nigga. I for sure got to hear it. I got to hear this. So yeah, if you could please hit that like and that subscribe and let's get into it. Check me out right here, yo. Need to turn the track up a little bit for me. All right, I turned it up. Ears. The mic is loud, but the music is loud. Yeah. You using big on this shit too? Like, oh, this shit about to go, probably go crazy. Yeah. Now the mic is low now. Turn the mic up. This is all the way up. Yeah. You are not the grime scene saviour You sly weak hater A little pop tart that owes Wiley favours And doesn't really understand these shiesty majors They sell your pop songs to these nice teenagers And don't get me hey. I don't know about the Wiley part and Look, that's my dog So we're not gonna just Don't be flaming that nigga in the comment section like that But hey, the, the nigga took his losses where he take his losses However It's just to me as an outsider looking in it's crazy how poignant just up until uh just these bars right here that's exactly chip sent sentiment now about major record labels and how his pop career went but he probably was not hearing none of this shit at the time so it's just it's funny as fuck that this nigga fucking low-key within the first minute and three seconds is already predicted where his career and future will go you might be famous but they buy green acres you buy neat trainers you were more real as an id faker make enough love songs and you might see paper when you see one the label see a hundred crispy bills that is what happens when you sign 360 deals give this chump a little chance punch you in his heart got signed for a chunk then bump for his advance getting hyped because some 12 year olds felt your song but what you gonna do when all the little girls are gone you'll be as frail as the songs you got wealthy from and be a tiny little dancer for elton John. You ain't even worth the ink in my fingertips Does this little midget really think he's a lyricist? To drink from my flipping sink is a privilege Copy Jay-Z and make your fingers a pyramid Keep making soulless music your fans buy But jam your hype and hang tight with your damp rhymes Hearing you is sad like watching ants die But people know the truth behind your hand signs I'm not telling anybody to get hostile This is just a hobby, I feel sorry for this lost child Chipmunk, 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 chipmunk Lyrical skill is a Measured by your income, they told me leave the kid alone. He's faker than silicone. My lyrics expose, reveal the soul of this jigger clone. Little jigger mini me didn't sleep, just Twitter beef. <laughs> I got him a little jigger mini me. Oh, why are you on this nigga hair like this? What did Chip say to this man? He didn't. He got this mad because of the grime scene savior shit. <laughs> He on this nigga head. Still his peak for this little neat in his skinny jeans. Should I snap fingers? Who made these fucking captions? That's not even the right words. He just Twitter beef. Still his peak for this little neat in his skinny jeans. Should I snap fingers? End all tweeting. Take off my slipper, get parental beating. Yeah. Sword raise a ton. Means your days are done. Is you is big headed in more ways than one. You diss vets, but you spit wet. Little princess Sony is searching for the next big head to. Who's the fact? Somebody got put me on. Connection not hard. Little pop tart. Think you got bars, you might top charts. But lyrically, you flopped hard. Silly voice, pretty boy that shaves his eyebrows. The grime scene's very own Amy Winehouse. You loopy lady. Damn. He said that nigga do drugs? Is that why you calling him that? Why is he called it? 
Unless he's saying he do drugs, I don't know why he called him Amy Winehouse. Boy that shaves his eyebrows. The grime scene's very own Amy Winehouse. You loopy lately. Could you be crazy? What kind of man calls a rap song? Oopsie daisy. I'm a real. <laughs> you can't blame a nigga for that. <laughs> Wasn't he like 16? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not calling no song Oopsie Daisy. That's why it's funny. But still, he's like 16, right? Be lately, could you be crazy? What kind of man calls a rap song? Oopsie Daisy, I'm a real MC. They won't forget me. Fill up your bank account, your soul is empty. If you're getting vexed, ask yourself what you represent. You can't get respect. You took a bite of the devil's bread. And the money you made won't mean nothing when you're dead. So think when you get that deep thought through your pregnant head. If you get depressed, you can pay for next tattoos or phone up your man. Them JLS to back you. Pick the wrong option. It's likely you got problems. You can't try me. I'm not. Wiley, your dot rotten, not the hardest MC, far from the best rapper. Not in this scene, but maybe your next factor. Hide inside your house, cause we're sick of your whiny mouth. Every sentence will slay the secret son of Simon Cow. Stay calm, fool, when the napalm falls. All the youths on your ends call you Hey Arnold. Gutless diva with a. Do they really call him Hey Arnold? Palm fools, all the youths on your ends call you hey Arnold Gutless diva with a tough demeanor How does it feel to be the UK's Justin Bieber? If you're a lyricist, stop coming with them poppy bars Talk is cheap, you can't walk the street without your bodyguards If money is nothing, why is it an issue when you rhyme? Money is nothing, can't take it with you when you die Make another track that says how much cash you get It can't buy you skill, credibility or happiness uh -huh. Before we go into the speech, the who's on this nigga's head is it like the most like lyrically like incredible? No, but it's one of those uh like calico and fucking uh loaded lux. Like he's speaking to a nigga soul. Like he, you were stripping this nigga down to his bare bones and talking to that person. Like you, like you wrote this song for whatever the fuck Chip's real name is. That's who you wrote this song for. Talking about fuck chip monk after this. It's not about fuck chip monk. This is just a warning. Yeah? If you keep acting like a boy, people are gonna keep treating you like a boy. If you act like a man, people will treat you like a man. Just because you got more money and you got a machine behind you does not make you a better lyricist than anybody. Better lyricist is lyrical skill. And right now you need to choose what you are. Are you a lyricist or are you a pop star? If you're a lyricist, do your thing. Say the word. Humble yourself. I'm in the studio and I'm chip when I hear this for the first time. Fucking shit up. Don't you talk to me like this? Be upset. I be upset. This this shit is this part of the song is worse than the rhymes. Telling niggas don't say fuck me, being a bigger person, trying to give me real gems. I'm not trying to hear this shit. Oh my god, I'd be so upset. Zam, you got some of these words wrong, unless you change them just because you prefer them. Because <sighs> it's not meek, it's unique. And then he said poppy bars, and you put pussy. Those are the two I just remember off the top of the head. But like besides that, this shit was good. This shit was good. I didn't think Loki was gonna get this nigga no no airtime, but apparently, like like he said, nigga, I'm a lyricist, and at the time, that nigga was feeling frisky. He said, "I'm I'm coming outside still." I'm, hey, who else he sent for? He got did he he sent for anybody else, or he's just being being a elder statesman in this chip situation, and really only came outside to to humble this nigga, and then ran back in the house and was like, "All right, I'm gonna go back to doing real shit." But uh, yeah, you guys let me know. This was dope to hear. I didn't. I definitely didn't expect to ever hear this nigga come up in a, we'll say like a rap beef or a grind beef or anything like that. But uh, yeah, more low, low key on the way. But you know, trying to wrap all these other little records up. But uh, yeah, thank you if you stayed all the way to the end. It's greatly appreciated. If you could please hit that like and that subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here. With your little poppy bars.